Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. So a little update on my shaker table here that we've been working on. One of the problems that we've discovered is, is that the, the main drain out of the sump is, is just not large enough. Um, I was running mine super slow and it was kind of barely taking it and it just didn't dawn on me that if somebody wanted to run a larger volume of water that it wasn't going to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I made a special tool here. Um, this is a bushing that will fit down inside of, of the, uh, the existing um, drain. And then I'll use an inch and a quarter hole saw here um, to cut out a bigger, a bigger hole. And then we're stepping up to, um, this is going to be an actual full one inch opening. This, this pipe is inch and a quarter, so the hose that I will attach to it will be an inch and a quarter hose. I'll cut these in two-inch segments and uh, machine them up nice so they fit in there, and then we'll, we'll glue them in. Okay, so this one here is a, is a little tight. Looks like I'm going to have to put a 5 8 drill bit in there to make it fit. Slow it down a little bit. Okay, here we go. All right, that's carved out of there. Okay. Let's see if my bushing fits. Perfect. All right, and then I'll go ahead and put this inch and a quarter hole saw in here. This is a newer one I've got. It seems to be struggling a little bit, so I'm going to grab this sharper bit and see how it works. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, and then this new pipe will fit right in there. Tight. Okay. Want to fill do a little pot filling with epoxy. I'll go ahead and get this cut to some two-inch segments here. Okay, so this is the little piece that I made here uh, for the new spout. I uh, I beveled the bottom so hose will fit on nice. Beveled the top so the water can get a nice little rollover swirl down in there. Put a little notch in it here. Um, I'm going to have to epoxy this one in, so I put a little traction in there, and I'll probably put some rough sand paper on there, too, to scratch it up, make the epoxy stick a little bit better. I'm going to build a, I'm gonna build a, a standoff so that this can be clamped in place, and then the epoxy goes around it, so it's, it's at the right level. I'm going to come up with some method to do that. I'll show you what that is when I decide what it's going to be. Okay, so this is what I came up with to get this thing mounted exactly where I want it. It's just a little block of wood, and I can put a clamp on there and hold that in place. And then this will fit up where it needs to be. And I just need a washer over the top of that, and then I can just use a screw to screw into that piece of wood and hold it in place. I can be plenty of room to get epoxy around the outside. So I'm going to use this inch and a half uh, hole saw to make me a washer out of aluminum that's just the perfect thing. So Okay, so I made a washer now that... Uh, will fit over the end of this. I have a, um, a screw that will fit through here and uh, screw into the block of wood and that'll hold it all in place. And so I will uh, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll get this put together. Well, first thing I'm going to do is clamp this in place. Let's see if I can sit this on its back. It might be easier to work on. guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. Okay, this is going to go in here. The washer will go on there. And then just get that centered up. We'll just screw it all together. And we'll see if it'll stay on there nice. Okay, there she goes. Lined up now? I believe so. I could even take this off and double check. Yeah, it looks nice and square. All right, I'm gonna clamp that out there. Now I've got room to get putty, epoxy putty around the outside here. I'll show you what I'm gonna use. Okay, so this is uh, this is CRC Minute Mend. It's uh, used to be quick steel in the old days uh, they sold out to whoever and 
different people have, have picked up the concept, but this is a epoxy and it comes in a stick like that. You cut off what you need it's, uh, and mix it together. It's two parts. Let me show you the end here. You can see that there's a, a green and a tan in there. And so cut off a little chunk of that and we'll mix it together to make a putty so it's the equal parts and then apply the putty where you want it and we're in good shape. I think I'm going to cut off about, a, about an inch, looks like right at an inch there I think is going to is going to do the trick. I'm just going to score this all the way around the outside that has a plastic on it until it then it'll, it'll just it'll just twist off okay this little so I just scored that plastic and kind of into the green and the white just twisted off nice so I'm gonna transfer this disc here kinda helps keep that stuff from going bad I'm gonna put it back in the package to store it for later Okay, has a little tube that goes on the end, we're good to go. All right, so now I've got my epoxy putty and uh, I'm just gonna mix this up and put it in there. So I just keep folding it over on itself and squishing it together. And that's a really, really good way to work this stuff all up. Okay, now I got it a uniform color, looks pretty good to me. I'm gonna roll this out into a little tube and uh, it'll go all the way around there. That looks about the right size tube. And I'm just gonna apply this around here. Oh, got a little bit big there, that's all right. We can squish it back. And then we're just gonna start squishing it onto our piece here and pressing hard. Now when I make these for production, this will be welded on here. This is a, this is a, a fix for the ones that are out there in the field, kind of a how-to guide, and uh, I'm gonna ship these uh, components to the, to the guys out there that need to fix them. Poxy Putty has a wonderful feature that you can get it wet, and uh, you can kind of slick it over and really finish it up nice and beautifully smooth. Um, I'm gonna do that on this one here. Some wet fingers works pretty good. Okay, that's that part of the cure. I'm gonna leave that sit there until uh, till tomorrow when it's hard and cured, and uh, that ought to do the trick for that particular job. Another problem that we had, and I noticed um, as people are messing with this stuff, that the bump is not as adjustable as we need it to be. If, if we're running really light and slow, low water flow laminar where there's no ripples in it, so it's just barely moving because we classified down to super fine uh, grit there and we're working along. And we don't want, we don't want the, the table moving really hard and banging. Um, I needed to add in, in a better adjustment. So I made a little, I made a little uh, adjustment here that, that's going to fit in. Um, where I put the fixed bump in those originals and so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in to this one here So in my prototype there, I, I offset the coil to where um, To where that bump is is it's it's just there so um, It can't there's the, the field of uh, The motion in this table this original very first one that I made is very limited because of how I put that all together so what I'm gonna do is is I'm going to modify this and uh, and put the bumper here and then that'll be adjustable a little bit more so um, I'll go ahead and uh, try and change that while you guys are looking there okay this Allen wrench here I'll take this loose now, come on be nice there we go okay so what I have here is I have here is, is it this I put this neoprene bump on here and we're gonna peel it off. Oh, it's got some good glue on it. And then what I've done here is is that as this goes on here like this, I've got a couple screws that will come through the back side here and hold this in place. That I thread it into this piece of square stock. Okay, 
All right, and this will go back up in there like that. I'll be able to back up this adjustment with this wing nut, and then uh, this will do its thing. So I'll get this set up to go back in. We do that by putting these all on here. Okay, and then up here on this bar now, I gotta jiggle that until I get all those to fall into place. This is my original prototype, so I guess it was a good call to center that. So now the, the, the ones that everybody has are going to sit like this. So that's adjustable there. And that's uh, those are two of the modifications we made. Okay, so this epoxy will cure up overnight. And then this is my original table, the one I first put together. It, it still has some issues, but it helps me to work through stuff. Another one of the problems that we had was to get the water to flow uniformly across the table. Dave has, uh, had it set up to where he put, uh, he put here along the back strip some miner's moss. So I'm going to cut strips um, of miner's moss to ship out to everybody and we'll clamp on with these clamps. Let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so like I said, here we have a piece of miner's moss that will fit here along the back. And then these, uh, these clamps will keep it in place. And then, uh, and then the trick is also is, is that this, these water bars are, are adjustable so you can angle the spray toward the back. Okay, so um, if we get our, uh, our miner's moss here in the back tray and then these, these are not glued in yet and we can, we can rotate those holes um, to where they're kind of facing and they're spraying water into the miner's moss and not splashing out the back. And that'll get that water to run down, hopefully more uniform, out of there. I've discovered that the more we turn it up, the more it ends up in one end of the bar or the other. If we keep the water running low and slow, uh, it seems to come out uniformly through, equally through each hole. As we increase the speed of the water, it comes more out of, of the dead end. Okay, well those are just a couple of the minor modifications that, I've, that we're making. Um, I pretty much did this so that I can build some repair kits and get them out there uh, to the people that have these that are uh, experimenting with them. And so uh, we'll just kind of see how it goes. Uh, continued feedback on, on any of this of how we can improve it before we actually punch it out there is, is, uh, is welcome. So in June I'm going to move these around, uh, pick them up or, or whatever, sell the ones that are out there, the prototypes or uh, I know for sure that one of them is just going to either come home with me or I can park it at somebody else's place to let them do an um, a experimental run with and see what, uh, see what needs to happen. So if that's you uh, wanting to give it a, a try and uh, in exchange for you know, some, some constructive criticism, we want to we wanna make them better. We don't want people to buy something and be unhappy with it. And uh, so you know, let me know. All right, well, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.